The fascinating world of pole vaulting is all about the transfer of energy between different stores. As the athlete sprints down the runway, the chemical energy store in their muscles decreases. When the pole is planted into the box, the kinetic energy is transferred to the pole, which bends. At this point, the pole's elastic potential energy store increases. The pole is acting like a spring, storing the athlete's motion energy. As the pole straightens, energy is transferred from the pole's elastic store back into the athlete. This transfer increases the gravitational potential energy store of the athlete as they rise upwards. The sequence is a chain of energy transfers. Chemical store, muscles, kinetic store, athletes run. Kinetic store, athlete, elastic potential store, pole. Elastic potential store, pole. Gravitational potential store, athlete, plus kinetic store, upward motion. As pole vault world record holder our man to plant as highlights, the one who is fastest on the runway and creates the most energy, that's probably the one who is going to jump the highest. His words underline how the size of the energy transfers, particularly into the pole, determines the height achieved. In the end, pole vaulting is a perfect demonstration of how energy can be transferred from one store to another, transforming sprinting speed into soaring height.